This patient could absolutely lose all of their teeth because they have a calculus bridge. And if it is removed, like you're gonna watch in this video, you could very likely lose one or multiple of these teeth. Now I've been a doctor for a very long time and I always tell patients before I do their cleanings, you might actually lose a tooth as we take this bridge out. You see this calculus bridge is the only thing that is holding these teeth together. Imagine a normal bridge with a bunch of pillars on it. And one by one, you're gonna remove those legs of those pillars. At some point, that bridge is probably gonna come crashing down. Same thing with the calculus bridge because that is the only thing that is holding these teeth in place. And you see how wiggly these teeth are. If you clean them with this calculus bridge and you remove that, they, the teeth may actually be lost because the only thing holding them up is the calculus. But you have to remove the calculus because that is so important. If you don't have the calculus removed, you're gonna get more and more calculus buildup until it cakes over the entire surfaces of all the teeth. When that happens, that is really bad because then you're gonna have progressive bone loss. Now you notice how loose these teeth are after them being cleaned sometimes you lose them sometimes the teeth actually rebound and rehold onto there and aren't nearly as strong as they were before the bridge now that you have the bridge removed everything is looking a lot better the gums are healthier they're not bleeding as much and you can actually chew much much better the only problem is that sometimes it's hard to chew afterwards because the teeth are so loose now in this video you're gonna watch a lot of bleeding in here and that's because the calculus kind of slowly moves those tissue and that gum tissue away from where the site of the bridge is and the gums do not like that the gums get actually very very sore and they don't like that calculus being on there see calculus moves in two directions it actually moves outward but when it moves vertically the problem is that it pushes down on the gums and the gums absolutely hate this they are bright red they are absolutely so inflamed and they, they bleed all the time and they absolutely hate where the calculus is so much so that the gums get pushed down because the bone is being lost and when the bone is lost then the gums move down and bleed and that is a progressive disease that we call periodontal disease disease. And if you don't remove this calculus, you could lose all of your teeth because look, calculus builds up and it just keeps going. Once it actually turns into calculus, which is actually a hardened amount of plaque, plaque is something you can remove with your toothbrush and your floss. But if you let it turn to tartar or hard calculus, that calculus is just going to build up and up and up and it is not going to stop until it takes over your whole mouth. Like if you take a look at this patient, they have calculus everywhere, top teeth, bottom teeth, in between the teeth. And you don't actually see any of the gaps in between the teeth because those teeth are so caked with calculus it has completely overtaken the entire mouth now this is also a problem not only with gum disease and bone loss and you also have the gums hating this but it also smells really really bad so if you want to have really stinky breath then just let your your teeth naturally have calculus and don't get a cleaning now one thing about this cleaning that you're going to notice too is that you're, they're using an ultrasonic device now this is a device that also vibrates and sprays water at the same time it does hurt a little bit because these gums haven't been cleaned. They're ultra sensitive. These, this calculus has basically been just kind of poured on these gums and the gums have been oppressed for so long that they're very sensitive. You notice how easily they bleed that, but they're bleeding because now they're healing. Once you get that calculus off of these teeth, the teeth can begin to heal and your gums are gonna feel so much, so much better once this is all removed. You're gonna eliminate the bone loss, you're gonna stop the disease which is progressive, which is gum disease, and you're also gonna have better smelling breath. So there's a lot of reasons for getting rid of this. And I always tell patients that yes, you might lose a tooth or two while we remove this calculus, but that is okay because you are eliminating disease, you're getting fresher breath, you're actually gonna be able to smile now, your teeth are not gonna look nasty when you look at them like this because they're actually gonna be clean. And the good news is, you don't have to do this every single time. When people get deep cleanings, typically they're gonna get deep cleanings and you don't have to have the deep cleaning every single time. Usually what we do is we put you on a perio maintenance program. Now what that means is that we're gonna do the deep cleaning and then we're gonna do perio maintenance. And on perio maintenance cleaning is like a maintenance cleaning every three months, maybe four months, until we, until we can get you back on track and get that disease stopped and halted altogether. But getting the calculus off is typically scaling and root planning. So scaling and root planning, it's expensive. I'm sorry, but it's like three, $350 per quadrant. If you have insurance, that's gonna cut the cost down a whole bunch more, but it's just expensive to get this procedure done, but you have to get it done to stop the disease. Otherwise you could lose your tooth and you could lose many of your teeth. And then once they're wobbly, it's really hard to replace them. So if you have three wobbly teeth and we take out the middle one, the other two adjacent teeth, it's really hard to put a bridge on there or put a dental implant in there because you've lost so much bone. The bone is absolutely critical to maintaining your health and keeping your oral health quality and not losing your teeth. And this calculus bridge 
absolutely threatens all of that. So if your mouth looks like this, please get into a dentist and actually get this removed as soon as possible. You can get numb when you're getting this done, this scaling and root planing procedure. It's basically cleaning the roots of the teeth and sometimes that's sensitive. And also, like I said before, the gums are sensitive. The good news about that is that you can be numb while you do these and that's typically why we do them in quadrants. So we'll do them one quadrant at a time. In case you're wondering what a quadrant is, it is one fourth of your mouth. So if your mouth has four parts, this is one quarter of it. It's basically all your upper right teeth all the way to the midline. We're gonna clean those, let those heal. Maybe do that one in conjunction with another side of the mouth that's not on the same side. So we're not doing this. So you don't have a whole mouth that is sore, that you're not recovering from a sore mouth everywhere and doing all quadrants all at the same time. It's really hard to do that. In this case, you can see the upper teeth are done and the lower teeth are not done. They did them in sections. Now, how do you know if you have gum disease? So this is a periodontal probe and we're checking the gums and we're checking the depth that basically shows us is there bone loss and is there bone loss meaning do we have to clean underneath the gums and that separates a regular cleaning from a deep cleaning and this is also another good diagram of showing what it looks like underneath your gums that you do have bone loss so your gums when they cover this you can't see this but underneath the gums we have bone loss on the left side of their teeth which is the patient's right we have a normal healthy gum and here we have bone loss see when you put the gums together everything looks the same you can't really tell the difference that's why we need that little probe to go up and down and tell us where the gum disease is so when we're so when you're at the dentist and we're yelling out numbers like 323 325 that means 323 is healthy and 5 is starting to get into the realm of unhealthy it's okay to have one or two fives but once you get into like six and sevens then you have massive bone loss and that means that like in that diagram underneath the gums we have a lot of bone loss in here and that is unhealthy and that is gum disease so that's why we chart these numbers if you look at this patient's chart in the front of the teeth you have three two threes that is totally healthy now you notice the red numbers are fours those are cautionary fives start to get really bad and what it's saying is underneath now if you look at these radiographs underneath the gum and underneath that bone area is shrunken down and that's where you're going to have periodontal disease or gum disease and in which the bone is deteriorating it is just shrinking more and more and more so if you leave this calculus on your teeth you are going to get massive bone loss and that is going to be really 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 difficult to keep your teeth clean in the future so guys get this calculus off your teeth and don't let it build up to this point Hopefully you learned a lot from this video about calculus bridges and why you should remove them and why they're so dangerous. And sometimes when you remove them and the disease has progressed super, super far, this can happen. You can actually lose some of your teeth. Thanks for watching.